This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. No matter how good your balance is, there'll be times you lose it, and that's where the brace comes in. Bracing is the way you use your paddle to recover when you've been thrown off balance. Something to note, braces work a lot better in the kneeling position, with your butt against the seat instead of sitting on the seat. Before looking at specific techniques, it's important to understand what losing your balance in a canoe really means. And so when you're balanced in a canoe, your head is perched over your spine and centered over the canoe. Losing your balance nearly always means your head falls too far off to one side of the canoe. Eventually, your head will pass the point of no return and you'll begin to capsize. At this point, you'll need some form of support to stop your flipping momentum and allow you to reposition your head over your boat and body. All that being said, we're going to start by looking at the low brace, which is used when you tip to the side you're paddling on. The low brace is performed by reaching out with your paddle at 90 degrees with the back side of the paddle blade flat against the water. The idea is to use the flat blade against the water to gain the momentary support required to reposition your head and upper body over the center of the canoe. Although counterintuitive at first, one of the keys to a successful brace is dropping your head towards your paddle as you engage the water, because this allows your knees to level the canoe. With your boat leveled, your head will be the last thing to return to its balanced position over your boat and body. If you feel yourself tipping to your offside, which is the side of the canoe that you're not ready to take a stroke on, you'll have to use a different type of brace, which is called the riding pry. The trick to the riding pry is placing your paddle against the hull of the canoe and reaching down to plant the blade deep in the water. You'll then pull your top hand down and pry the shaft against the gunnel. This lever action provides the momentary support your head and body needs to return over the center line of the canoe. Needless to say, the riding pry is a more challenging technique and will take lots of practice before it becomes a natural reaction when you start to lose balance on your offside. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it saves you from flipping someday. If you enjoyed this tip and want to learn more, please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel.